what is your relationship with patients? I'm gonna go ahead and clear it out, air this out right now. I battled with patients for a very long time. I had a very low tolerance level and my patients were always running thin. How I was able to develop it, I'm gonna be completely transparent. It was my nine years working in the aviation industry dealing with randoms all the time. <laughs> That's truly what um, supported and uh, gave me the foundation for deepening my relationship with being a patient being. Patience is a practice that is so important to develop because it really supports the belief system of everything is energy. And sometimes the energetic, seeing it realized in this 3D uh, form or in this 3D realm doesn't doesn't always catch up. It takes a little bit of time. There is a little bit of a lag. Can you work with patients as a way to create more ease in your life? Patience is really about releasing, relinquishing, and uh, relieving yourself of these expectations, deadlines, time periods, time stamps, uh, arrival, that we often are looking for and instead being present because of course patience requires presence with where you are right now in this moment with your journey so this flow is going to be all about honoring and anchoring into patience patience also requires some stamina <laughs> do you have the endurance to run the race or treat it like a marathon. Rest in peace, Nancy Hustle. You have to be willing to go the distance and look at the bigger picture. Patience is an accessible practice and being okay with where you are and not just okay, experiencing joy and bliss. So in this practice, the length in which we hold the poses will be progressively longer. And I want you to examine what happens in your mind as well as in your body when you have to hold in a pose or hold in a situation of stasis, stillness. What and how do you respond? And how can your body support you in understanding where you can expand and grow? and deepen into a more relaxed and neutral space. So let's look at this from a lens of the beautiful divine union. We have the divine masculine where a lot of the needing to get things done, needing to meet deadlines, needing to have everything sorted out exists. And I don't want to treat it as though it is a problem because it's not. We need action in order to uh, see things materialize absolutely um, and then there's the divine feminine which we are working with right now with this yen practice uh, of patience presence softening out allowing yourself to be receptive to whatever is coming up so it's not about denying patience is definitely not about denying or pretending that you have some sort of patience or that everything is okay but can you be okay with the not okay, if that makes sense. <laughs> so we'll be working with the divine feminine uh, in this practice I mean, to support a presence, a willingness, an openness to be receptive to the truth that everything takes time to grow, to expand, and to evolve, right? And then moving into that space of neutrality, can you be neutral or the androgyny so that you can sit with everything that you experience in your life on a daily basis, not just in your practice, with presence, awareness, acceptance, love, and ease. Be within the space of your mind. Don't run away. 
how can we grow how can we expand how can we move and progress through whatever we're going through if we're unwilling to look at it so in this essence yin flow we are going to expand evolve and grow with patience join me in the bed we're getting comfy in the bed for our yin practice uh, grab your essential oils as you know work with whatever you need any spiritual tools you need to support your practice Slowly rub your palms together and allow the essential oils to warm up in your hands. And then take your hands and place them right in front of your nose as you inhale and exhale. And settle into your breath. Noticing the cool air as you inhale and the warm air as you exhale through the nose. Preparing. Rest your hands on the heart and journey deeper within and see if there's anything that you want to connect with as you grow throughout this practice of patience and presence and power. <laughs> Maybe that's an intention. We're going to begin in a child's pose just to support us in understanding what it is that we're going to be doing and that is being patient <laughs> with ourselves so let the toes touch and the knees be wide and slowly walk your body between the space of your knees and your thighs and rest relax maybe query and inquire within about anything that you are lacking patience with right now. Maybe anything that you're not being with your patient with yourself about. could be something that needs to get done it could be something that needs to be worked on from within is there any resistance around it is there an unwillingness to be present with it and if you can choose something or identify something maybe you can connect with it during this practice Allow yourself to breathe and settle deeply and relax more. Be more open and receptive to what comes up. As we prepare to journey into our first impose specifically for this practice. Allow patience to support and guide you when you meet any resistance with any poses. Slowly roll up into tabletop and journey through a few cat cows, keeping your eyes soft Inhaling and exhaling, allowing each breath to lead the movement. Pressing through and feeling release throughout your spine. And then prepare to come into a butterfly pose with the soles of the feet touching, the knees are out wide. Your Feet don't have to be close to the body, it can be more in a diamond shape. And if you need anything underneath your knees to support you, by all means grab some pillows and put them in between that space between your knees and the bed. And we're going to do it in two phases, starting first sitting up. So you can grab your ankles or grab your feet, whichever feels comfortable for you. 
And then once you feel comfortable, lengthen through the spine on an inhale. And then slowly exhale and melt forward. Let the spine be nice and curled and curved. Try not to force yourself down into the pose. Allow gravity to support you. And when you feel comfortable and to your max, you can release your hands and allow the palms to face up. And with each breath, Feel yourself breathing past resistance. Breathing past resistance. More softening and more surrender happening. As your body understands what's happening with it, that you're giving it loving attention, that you're being patient with it, patient with yourself. One of the questions I want you to query on or inquire within about is procrastination. Hmm. Anything that requires my patience, I tend to procrastinate on. <laughs> uh, so if there's anything that requires me to give it a little extra love and attention, I'll put it off. So, do you procrastinate with tasks that you have that will require your attention and your patience? If you can find any release or any more surrendering in the pose, give way to it. If there's space between your head and your foot or the bed, you can always press a cushion between it just to relieve any unwanted tension. But discomfort in the pose isn't inherently bad, as long as it's not painful. And then give yourself an opportunity to breathe into any remaining release. Inhaling and exhaling. Taking your time. And slowly, slowly beginning to roll up. No rush. Walking your palms back in. Breathing in and out patient with yourself, noticing how you feel, and grabbing the outer edge of your knees and bringing it, them together and hugging yourself, resting your head on the knees as you prepare for the next pose, which is a forward fold. Call this pose caterpillar. Now if you need some support underneath the knees, obviously grab a pillow or a cushion just to support you. You can keep the knees soft and then slowly fold over, letting the palms be facing up just in a gesture of surrender. We love that softening in yin. And if you feel like you don't need it, or if you're breathing and gravity is supporting the release, you can always remove the cushion whenever you need it so that you can deepen into the fascia and the connective tissue release, whichever feels comfortable for you. Yin isn't requiring some rigid experience. Yes, the principles are hold the pose, stillness, finding your edge, but you've got to find the edge. So find where the sweet spot is, where the edge of your abilities go. And then just breathe. 
and release. There's so much power, so much power, and your ability to be patient with your journey, with your circumstances. Because what happens is there's an expansion of awareness. And awareness is the self. The present moment is the power of awareness, of self. Hmm. Breathe into that. Breathe into that. Noticing with each inhale and exhale. If you have any space within you. to release even more and gravity wants to give you an opportunity to go further within patience also gives you an opportunity to get up and close and personal with resistance with shifts. And then the space of patience is an opportunity to evolve the self. Stay soft anywhere that you may feel yourself clenching. Send the breath to that space and relax. Taking these next few breaths to encourage a little bit more release before we journey into the next pose. Breathing in and out, maybe through the mouth. Any remaining release. taking your time as you journey out of the pose, slowly keeping the head heavy, spine rolls up, and the head comes up last and stacks over their shoulders. And just notice, notice how you feel. if there's anything that's come up in your mind's eye, in your heart, or in your body. Give it time and space. Maybe you'll journal about it, or maybe you'll just stare off into the space like I am. <laughs> As we move into the next pose, <laughs> which is stag, you'll swing your left leg back behind you and your right leg out in front of you and kind of make like a little bit of a right angle or a angle with your knee and then twist your body and just hold here as 
as you inhale and exhale, try to release your glutes. This pose can cause a little bit of tension in the body, so find space to release as much as possible and try not to activate any muscles. I'm trying to get into the fascia, the connective tissue, the ligaments, the joints here. Trying to push the bed away. Um, if you can keep your shoulders soft, maybe that looks like noticing where there may be a little, a little tension in the fingers or in the hand. And then give yourself space and opportunity to experience a release in the inner thigh. Not forcing anything. Just being patient with whatever comes up. Whatever comes up, you allow it and allow yourself to be with it and allow it to move through you. This is a two part pose, so Next, we're going to start to fold over so that we can get an even deeper release. So in a way that's comfortable for you, if you need to adjust to do that, but just fold over your right thigh and just relax. If you need to grab a pillow, do that. And breathe through the entire left side of your body. Staying with yourself. Being patient with whatever may come up. Present with whatever may come up. Noticing where in your body there is tension and where there is release. And giving a little bit more of your breath to the release of any tension. As we prepare for easing out slowly but surely. Taking your time. And coming into a relaxing pose or a counter pose so you'll put your weight into the heels have your hands behind you fingertips facing away and drop your head back if it feels good some people like to bring the chin to the chest and just as easily as we were in the first pose on one side we'll journey into the other side so you just drop your knees to the left and in dropping your knees to the left that means that 
the left leg is out this time and the right hand arm is excuse me the right leg is behind you again trying to keep a little bit of an angle at a 90 degree angle it doesn't have to be exact but just trying to feel that so that you can actually maximize the sensation in this pose and then just twisting behind you And if there's any tension or activation of the glutes, maybe you rock a little bit just to invite in some ease. By now though, your body probably knows that it needs to be patient <laughs> and it needs to be present and it needs to, it's safe to, 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 to relax. You're not gonna be doing a lot of abrupt movements. And then your body may want you to encourage even more states of receptivity to ease. As you fold over the left leg and relax in this pose. another question for you how does it feel to relinquish the power or the control you believe or perceive yourself to have over your circumstances as much as I talk about the reclamation of your power your energy your voice um, don't confuse that with trying to be in control all the time I know for me, it's very uncomfortable for me to relinquish control. <laughs> it's a practice, a devotional, habitual practice to relinquish. Mm. How does it feel for you? Breathe into the entire right side of your body. As you journey within. journeying within yourself as you inquire about these things also allow space for patience with the answers and if nothing comes up right now be patient with that be patient with that Breathe, inhale, exhale. Don't ever forget the breath, the conscious awareness of the breath as your life force, as your power. Query and deepen into this energy of patience and relinquishing any sort of control of an outcome gives more space for the perceived impossible to be invited in or the highest outcome instead of trying to shape it Hmm, it, it comes in in a deeper way, in an expanded way. Slowly coming up, breathing and coming back into that relaxing pose, that counter pose. And then notice if there's any difference as you 
just allow your body to integrate. And we're gonna go into the next pose, which is a wide leg fold. You may wanna put pillows underneath your knees. You may wanna grab a pillow for your torso to support you, especially if there's a lot of space between your torso and the bed. And so you would grab the pillow and just insert it real close to your, to your hip crease and then grab as many as you need um, without turning it into a restorative pose because we're practicing yin. And we want to experience the edge of the sensation, right? We want to experience the fullness of that. Hydrate, of course. <laughs> Plenty. Anyway, so as you get comfortable and breathe in and notice, get to the edge of your fold and then allow your spine to soften. Remembering how important it is to allow your body to get acclimated to what is happening. You can point and flex your toes to invite in a little bit more ease and release. And doing everything that we can to encourage ease as we allow gravity to soften us. Gravity can soften us by giving us an opportunity to feel more grounded while we are experiencing any sort of shifts, while we are waiting things out. There is so much power in patience, so much power in presence. Breathe beyond your skin, breathe beyond your bones, breathe beyond the identity that you give yourself. Relax into your completeness for these next few breaths. Relax into your wholeness. Feel the layers of tension dissolving. And allow this to be for you and only you. You have everything you need here. In this container of patience and presence, you have everything you need your breath and your awareness. Open to it. Lean into it and receive it. Steady your breath and keep yourself really receptive.
patience is also an opportunity to not only experiment with your vision and your dreams, right, but to relinquish them. To release them, you have the dream, you have the vision, and you're met with everything, all the contrasts that help you to get to it. Can you release the dream and allow the journey? Steady breaths, in and out, anywhere you feel your muscles activating, send your breath there, and invite patience, invite release. these last few breaths, soften your belly, there's no need to hold, there's no need to contract, no need to compete, be patient, slowly coming out, Noticing how you feel. Noticing if there's any relief or release. And preparing for a little bit of a movement. You've been steady, steady, steady. So slowly walking your legs in, you can grab the back of your knees and then extend your legs and just, you know, work out any sort of tension. And then we're going to come onto our knees and let the knees be nice and wide and make some circles with the hips, with the heart, the head. We'd love to get into this softness and release any of the tension that may have been stored in that settling so that we can really prepare to relax for these next 10 minutes into our final pose. So you'll come close to the edge of the bed, excuse me, to the uh, headboard and swing your legs up. Don't have a lot of things up there like I do. <laughs> and if you want, you can come onto the floor. But just bringing the legs up against the wall. And you can support your head with a pillow if that feels comfortable. And place your hands any way that feels comfortable for you. I have my hands in Yoni Mudra, so the index and the thumb fingers touch and I'm resting my hands on an inverted triangle on the uh, womb space. Do anything that feels comfortable as you settle into this. As you breathe and relax, into the powerhouse of patience. Feel any struggles drop away. As you ease into a deeper sense of patience, breathe a 
away the need, the incessant need to keep up. Breathe away the need to be busy as you experience patient. Allow yourself to feel comfortable in your own space as you experiment with patience as power. One of the reasons why patience and transition and and shifts in your life can feel uncomfortable, especially now, is because of the fear of missing out. Hmm? But what are you trying to prove? (laughs) What do you think you're missing out on? Stay aware now, aware of the stillness and the presence within this very moment. Allow your entire being to relax into this energy. Give yourself an opportunity to Open, 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 open. Beyond expectation, beyond being judged, beyond any of these things. Allow yourself to recognize the power in patience. And see if there is an opportunity for you to experience the energy of passion within your patience. You know, that which is worth you and your time and your energy and your joy truly is something that you would need to be passionate about. So when there is a stop or a hold on something, there's also an opportunity to double check. Do I really want this? Do I need to shift my trajectory? Do I need to revise? Is there something specific I need to develop within myself so that I can expand, evolve, grow all of these beautiful opportunities for deepening into your true self exists with impatience breathe release is well all is well ground yourself into the patience understand the energy contained within your body and experience the balance and the harmony that's there to guide and inspire your path forward. Breathe. 
and receive. Patience leads you to prosperity. Patience allows you to experience miracles. Patience creates opportunities for awareness Life demands patience. Patience strengthens your perceptions and expands your perspective. <laughs> 